everyone, it's Jen here from Mum in the Madhouse and Alvin and we are working with Halford's Imagination Station and we are going to show you how to turn a child's bike box into a fabulous car like this. Now the, the car box that the bikes come in is really great quality and really thick so it's a shame just to put it in recycling especially when you could make something as fantastic as this. This car has three printables for the wheels, for the lights and for the number plate and it also has a steering wheel that works, a dashboard that comes off for easy storage and even better it folds off because there's velcro at the back and you can just pop it underneath your sofa like that for storage. Follow on to find out how to make your own. First of all, my tips are to clear your space. You need um, a lot of space. These are big boxes. Size is important. It's important to measure your box because that's going to help when you design your vehicle. And the vehicles we're going to design are going to be able to be packed away flat. So the kids can play in them and then we can pack them away under the settee, behind the settee and bring them out again. So they get longevity and, and playing out of these. For cutting purposes, I am using a Stanley type knife with a blade. If you have children around, it's really important that you pop the blade back each time. Now I am cutting on a wooden floor in here. So I have a big, mat ideally um, you would do this outside the cutting on the grass if it's dry enough um, but it's not so I am doing it in here one massive cardboard box I'm going to chop the bottom where it folds off um, and you can do the same with the top to give you better working space to make it smaller. So that's what I'm going to do now. We have our cardboard prepped for the next stage. Now, I have done the working out so you don't have to and you will find that down below or on my blog, which is www.muminthemadhouse. And I basically took some graph paper and drew out a car, or the plans for a car. And this is where we start to do some measuring. So what you need is your tape measure or your ruler and a pencil. And we are going to plan our car from one long piece of cardboard that we can then fold and make into a sitting car. So I'm going to start by um, plotting out on my cardboard. I have plotted that out and I'm going to show you a trick for doing the other side so that both sides look the same so we don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to get our mat and we're going to cut that part of the car out. So there we have the template for our other side of the car. I'm just going to pop this behind me, not to disturb Alvin. And I'm going to keep on cutting. So we're just going to pop this bit to the side, we're going to use that in a while. And what we have here is a car shape. But we need to make sure that the bends are all in the right place because at the moment they're not. So where you've drawn the lines down, we want to flex the cardboard. And the easiest way to do that is to take your ruler and push is going to be velcroed so it can open and close and he 
here we have our cow shape. How cool is that? The thing to do is to concentrate on the areas where the cardboard is bending where you don't want it to. Because they're the bits that we've got to make sure stick. It's up to you what shape you want your windows to be. If you just want to cut one window, if it's a sports car or um, two like I'm going to do. So here we have our car all ready to paint. Now I use um, ready mix paint, a water based paint, but you could use emulsion or anything that you've got in the house really, or you could leave it plain for the kids to decorate. So I'm going to cut a strip and I'm going to stick it to the two bits of card. If you go to my website, I've created a free set of printables you can use. So we're going to decorate the front of the car and the dashboard. Now, if you don't want to use my printables, that's not a problem. I've got some other good ideas for you for um, things you could use. I've got some little plastic balls here. You could put a circle of yellow into there and stick it on and that would make a headlight. And you could do the same at the back, a circle of red and it would be a brake light. Paper plates make brilliant lights if they were smaller. They also make excellent wheels, which is what we're going to use them for. And I have printed out some brake lights and some wheels as well. But I'm going to stick the wheels onto the plate and then stick the plate on. So you can pop a number plate on and pop your child's name on or whatever you want to and decorate it as well, which I thought was a really good idea. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the dashboard and the steering wheel. And again, I created a dashboard printable. So I've just stuck these onto sticker paper, but you could use a glue stick. And I am just going to stick that on our dashboard. I also created a steering wheel. So you could stick that on the dashboard or you could draw a steering wheel on a paper plate. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take the paper plate, stick is to a double sided tape. You could use a glue stick or glue gun, whatever you have, or you could give it to your little one and they could colour it in themselves. Onto the paper plate, I'm then going to take a split pin or a paper split pin and I'm going to pop that through the middle of the paper plate, being careful not to pop my hand and I'm going to pop a hole in my cardboard with my scissors and I am going to put the split pin through the hole and open it on the back side so that we have our dashboard and we have a wheel that moves. Now you don't have to use a split pin, you could put a little bit of velcro on and you could take the wheel on and off. So there we have, which we would just hook over the front of the car and tape it on and the child can play inside with that. Into the centre of the vehicle, like so. And so there we have the front and I'm going to do the same at the back but with the yellow number plate. So there we go, we have the rear. Now, I'm gonna work on the wheels. Now, you can then stick those on, or you can just use the stickers, or the printables, and put them straight on to the car. And there we have, our car. How cool is that? 
and simply undo the velcro and it folds flat for storage. 